Good morning. Thank you, Dave, and thank you again to Medacta. I've been asked to talk about PSI in total knee arthroplasty. What are the advantages? Uh, these are my disclosures, which are relevant related to my knee. Uh, Bob Bourne uh, from London, Ontario, was one of my mentors, and he published this study looking at a cross-section of 1,700 total knees across southwestern Ontario and found a 19% dissatisfaction rate. And this study's been replicated around the world. Uh, we have a, a procedure that's good for most, but not great for all. And we need to continue to evolve and explore different techniques, implant options, and technologies. Uh, my knee was uh, conceived on the back of a napkin in my partner's kitchen, uh, Dr. Laux and I and uh, Francesco Sicardi. Within a year, the first case was done in Switzerland and then shortly thereafter in the U.S. Uh, and there's now over 1,000 performed uh, every month. Uh, what is my knee? <clears throat> it's uh, CT or MRI based. Uh, we prefer CT. Dimensionally, uh, CT is more accurate and uh, there's issues with MRI estimating cartilage thickness. These blocks fit unequivocally on osteophytes. They're actual cutting guides versus pin positioners. They're pre-navigated patient-specific blocks. Uh, every case comes with bone models with etchings. Uh, there are triple checks in the system. This is not a black box technology that you have to just close your eyes and trust. You can attach EM rods, angel wings, uh, can be passed through the guides and compared to the etchings on the model. You can take your resected bone wafers and compare those to the models uh, and to your plan. Uh, this is an in-house technology, web-based. You have a dedicated engineer that gets to know your preferences, a quick three-week turnaround time, and a minimal learning curve of arguably two or three cases. PSI literature is controversial. Uh, there's no question. Uh, there's some good studies, and there's uh, many that do not support the technology, but I think we have to look at a couple things critically. One is the image uh, acquisition algorithm, and the second is the design of the guides. And I think that's uh, where many systems fail. Um, they rely on some combination of MRI and or long leg radiographs or cartilage estimation. So again, PSI literature in general, negative. Uh, my knee literature has uh, generally been very favorable. Uh, our fellow uh, published this last year, 132 consecutive CT-based MyNee cases, average uh, 179.4 degrees, no outliers outside of 3 degrees, 4 femoral component changes, uh, size changes, 7 tibial component size changes, no recuts for malalignment, uh, showing this is reliable for coronal alignment and component size. Uh, the study out of Austria. I uh, looked at 300 knees, 150 conventional, 150 my knees, uh, two years out, uh, long leg x-rays for alignment and CT scans for um, component positioning. Uh, in summary, they showed less pain and better function in the my knee group. All measured radiologic parameters were significantly better in the my knee group. Early function was equal, uh, but they did show a strong correlation between accurate implant alignment and improved uh, clinical outcomes in both groups. Uh, Peter Koch out of Switzerland published this, 300 uh, CT-based MyNees, looking at uh, standard and long leg radiographs, uh, and compared his results to the literature on CAS and conventional, uh, showing uh, uh, the patient match technology was accurate. And then this uh, study as well out of Australia, 50 uh, CT-based MyNees, uh, they did post-operative CT scans on all of them. 98% were within three degrees of the planned uh, alignment. Um, and then if you looked at the individual components, femur and tibia, sagittal, coronal, and rotational alignment, uh, they ranged from 90 to 100% accuracy. 86% patients uh, with good to excellent outcome at 12 months. Uh, we don't uh, violate the intramedullary canal, so like computer-assisted surgery, there's less risk of fat embolization, less blood loss, and less transfusions. I think this is a big advantage, improved OR efficiency, reduced instrumentation, one to three pans versus four to six, or six to eight. Uh, there's studies showing a reduction in, on average, of four pans per case. It's a simplified procedure. We're drastically cutting the number of steps involved, reduced OR time, reduced wash sterilization steps and costs. That's been shown to be uh, around $300 in studies. Uh, we have our implants ready to go in the room. There's less traffic. Uh, less setup time, significantly less turnover time, um, possibly lower risk of contamination based upon all of these uh, efficiencies. Our scrub techs love these cases, and I think we have the ability to add an additional case each day when we have flip rooms uh, because of these efficiencies. And there are some uh, studies supporting that. Other advantages, uh, periarticular hardware. Conventional is uh, limited in this situation. 
Uh, this is a nice uh, uh, case for that. Uh, uni conversions to total. Uh, these are nice uh, cases. The, imp the guides fit right on the uh, uni implant. Extra articular uh, deformity uh, where conventional instrumentation has limitations. Even severe intraarticular deformity. Uh, if we can cue that video. Uh, this is one of my partner's cases. Uh, I think 24 degrees of uh, varus malalignment. Uh, you could do this with any technique. Um, we chose, or he chose, my knee. Uh, the engineer sent you a nice detailed uh, email showing you uh, the proposed plan. They're recommending a 10 millimeter medial augment, five degree offset stem. They tell you exactly where to dial in your stem. Um, they send over a special crossover guide, so you apply your tibial cutting guide to the tibia. It allows you to flip over to the revision instrumentation. Um, and you get an outcome like that. I think there's advantages with PSI and obesity where conventional and CAS have limitations. I think there's advantages for low volume surgeons. Uh, in the US, a high percentage of total knees are performed uh, by this group, uh, and I think it's more accurate. Uh, high volume surgeons, even in our best hands, uh, there's 25% outliers. So I think there's an advantage here, and the study supports that 10% outliers with my knee and 25% for conventional instrumentation. Uh, outpatient surgery, I do uh, a lot of outpatient joint replacements and have for the last five years. PSI, especially when coupled with single-use instrumentation, has advantages uh, in these centers where there's significantly reduced sterilization capacity. Uh, we heard a little bit about optimal alignment, and Steve has really led the charge on this. Um, uh, I think there's a growing body of literature supporting kinematic alignment, five uh, prospective trials and uh, four um, uh, uh, meta-analyses supporting it. I think MINE gives us tremendous um, power in terms of uh, determining the uh, optimal alignment for our implants and restoring the three native uh, kinematic axes that Steve described, um, and Medacta has a, a system that allows us to do that. Uh, approximately 60% of all of uh, the knees now are implanted using this technology. It, uh, it's a, a number that's increasing, and I think that's a tribute to the accuracy and the confidence that surgeons have with this. And this is also an evolving technology, so it started off with total knees. Uh, they have come up with uh, MIS guides, ligament balancing system, uni, shoulder, spine, osteotomy, and uh, most recently the uh, individualized uh, knee alignment. And I think Medact is doing a nice job creating some synergy here with uh, single-use instrumentation. Um, the uh, my knee PSI, uh, their sphere knee, uh, which we'll hear more about, a, a medial stabilized knee with good uh, patient-specific kinematics, and then most recently, uh, their individualized knee alignment system. And the goal here is to try to reduce those, uh, that 20% of patients that are dissatisfied. So I'll just leave you with one little video. This is one of my first uh, Sphere patients years ago. Uh, this is him at seven weeks uh, skiing uh, with my knee technology and uh, enjoying a great result. Thank you.